Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with the Long Dark and we are on the Broken Line Maintenance Shed, if I'm not mistaken. And we were had set up in the office. The only thing I've done so far is I just got up in the morning and did drink something because I was seriously thirsty. It was in the red, I was so thirsty. But we might still need a little bit of light. It's a little bit dark in here. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get my lantern here going. There we go. There's plenty of lantern fuel all over the place, but shouldn't be a problem finding that. But in the last episode, we went through this entire place explored everything we were capable of exploring still do not have a pry bar which is a real problem I did put down these wolf this wolf pelt and the fresh gut so that they could cure hopefully by the time I come back from the far territory we can use them for something maybe make some even better clothing that we have but I don't think there's anything else left to check here as far as whether or not we need to move on, I, I'm thinking it needs to happen. But my hunger is down quite a bit. I did leave... I'm going to leave the hammer here. I thought at first that I would need it. But I think it's just going to weigh me down. Kind of like that battery right there. Oh, wait a minute. I'm getting turned around here. I need to go over here. There is a barrel that we can cook at, which I still have some wolf meat. I'm going to take that. So far, they haven't given me any issues. I don't know if that's a... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm taking a chance. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. But let's see. We've got some of this cooked meat. I'm going to go ahead and eat that. My spraying risk is healed because my weight went down again. Yeah, I'm going to have to leave the hammer here. I think it's just going to be too much to deal with. I'm going to go ahead and take the charcoal. I'm trying to just, well, I have to take the, cough, the pot. There's no way around that. That's going to put me overweight. Yeah, I'm going to need to decide here what I do and don't need to be carrying with me. I need to make sure I have enough food. So I was thinking that this would be good because it's very high calorie and if I need to eat I can eat it. But even the food in this thing is expensive. The crackers are not very heavy. The the wolf meat is kind of it's kind of heavy unfortunately. So we're going to need to probably store some of that. I don't know if we'll get back in time to cook the rest of it or not but I'm trying to remember if I've yeah this is where I put the hammer I put the hacksaw and I've got a shirt here I'm gonna drop some other things off here as well I think that I'm not gonna need right away the cedar firewood I'm just gonna go ahead and drop that in there we don't need that that's probably one of the things that's really weighing me down the coal 
Uh, don't really need the feathers right now, or the dog food. Well, no, I better take the dog food. Might need that to eat. Uh, the fire striker will hang on to. Been really looking hard for that pry bar. That pry bar is something I'm definitely going to need. Let's see. We can leave the sticks. I am keeping the crackers. They're not very heavy. And it gives me something to eat. It does make me a little thirsty, but I think I can live with that. I'm going to drop off the, the moldy wolf meat. Keep the at least one thing of cooked meat. Just so that I have something to chow down on. It's got me about 2 kilograms underweight, which is good. I don't think I need anything else here, guys. I mean, I will have to come back here eventually. I could probably drop that. I only need one of the dis antiseptic. But I better keep it. I have run into wolves. I have gotten torn up by them. Yeah, Dula is also doing a playthrough. He's much further ahead than I am. But anytime you play this game you never know how things are going to go he and I have different approaches at handling things he tends to be more cautious I tend to be more I guess uh, <laughs> I take more chances I guess is what it is I probably shouldn't I probably ought to be doing like what he's doing but I'm like oh what the hell you know <laughs> let's try it let's see what happens but He's much. He's been playing this a lot longer, so he's probably got the right idea. But yeah, I did leave some stuff here that I can come back and pick up. Cause probably have to come. Did I check that? We're probably gonna have to come back through here anyway. And the outer building, I did leave some stuff there as well, which I think is right here. Yeah. There's like a little office. No, that's not it. I get, I'll show you in a minute. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Better make sure we watch it because wolves do hang around this area quite often. Which is why I shot one just outside the door. Let me see here. Oh, good God. That's not good. That's not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Whew. He was on my heels. <laughs> oh, man. That's right, light enough in here now that we can get around. Well, good God, I keep... This is like a daggum maze. Honest to God. Okay, that's the office. I'm trying to remember how to get... Is it through here? Boy, we are surrounded. We are surrounded. This is it. Okay, I might be able to move around here without any problem. I think I put some stuff in here too. One of these anyway. Yep, uh, it was just some driving gloves. I thought I put... Yep, there's some stuff in these things. I'm just keeping them there. I don't need gun cleaning kits just yet, but I think that's all that's out here. I'm going to have to get that gun out. That gun it. Well, let's... Wait a minute, let's try our flare. One of our flares. Let's see. Are they out there still? This is a good day to leave, too, because it's nice and sunny. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pull my gun out anyway. Wait a minute, there's one.
a bunch of them. Oh, damn, he is still gonna... That, uh, damn thing didn't do any good at all. The flare didn't even s sort of scare him away. Well, these guys are not messing around. Jeez. Okay, did I get hurt? Let me see here. I think... No, I managed to fend him off without getting hurt. I, yeah. Wow, that doesn't always happen. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get hurt at all, which is really good and rare. I'm going to have to do something to get rid of these guys. Alright, let's do this. that isn't going to do any good. There's like three or four of them here. There, that scared him off. I uh, took care of him, but you lay there, you old pain in the ass. Teach you to mess with me. Shoot, now I wasted a perfectly good flare. <laughs> Creep. No, I don't know how in the world I came out of, out of that unscathed. I've got a lot of revolver, bu revolver bullets. A lot of revolver bullets. Well, that was eventful, but luckily I didn't get hurt. Let's go back to getting our rifle out. I don't like to use my rifle bullets if I don't have to. Because they're a lot harder to come by right now. I've got tons of revolver bullets. But yeah, apparently if you shoot the revolver near them, it scares them. I'm not having any luck with those damn flares scaring them off. Either I'm not doing something right, because apparently it's supposed to. But it didn't scare them, not in the least. They came after me anyway. There's a damn another one. Jesus. Okay, they're still spooked. Well, as long as they stay that way, I... I... God, there's a lot of wolves. Well, we gotta get past them. Well, I think he hurt me that time. God, there were just too many of them. Jeez. Well, it serves you right, you bastard. <laughs> Alright, let me see how much damage he did. Actually, I think I was not over to, able to get past that, but where else was I going to go? I was going to get hurt no matter what I do. Alright, let's see what I do. What I did here. Alright. Not hurt. How? How was I not hurt? Not hurt in the least. 
Wow. Okay. How lucky am I? <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I grabbed the axe. I didn't grab the knife. I grabbed the axe, and I swear to God, that must have been what did it. That has to be what did it. Yeah, I completely missed that wolf. But, I did get rid of him. Well, I'm sure you guys were entertained. <laughs> <laughs> that was exciting and I fended him off with my I was gonna say my bare hands but actually I fended him off with my axe with my axe uh, it looks like we have some vehicles to take a look at here there's something on the okay some nuts and stuff we can use a few nuts and stuff Eh. Eh. No. There's nothing in the back. Yeah, Dula said usually there's not much of anything in these things, but... There's a first aid kit. Eh. No. I need to keep my weight down as much as I possibly can. Too much going on. Okay, now this is that bridge that I... Is the broken bridge, okay. And I believe... That there's two ways to get across from here. I believe we have to go down... Oh gosh... I did see Dula's playthrough. I don't... Maybe this is it. Maybe it's the next part. I don't know. I think actually it's the next part. We just need to go across the... This precariously. <laughs> yep. That is the woman he was talking about. Nothing on her. I will take the peaches. Peaches are good. Ooh, and there's a battery in that one. Let's see. Is there, there's nothing at all in the back. Let's see what's in here. Briar House? What's that? Okay. I'll take the soda, too, actually. Save a little bit on our water here. All right. We are on our way. What? Okay, that's right. We have to go through a really long tunnel. I remember that now. Hopefully this weather will hold up. I don't really want to have to end up camping out here in this tunnel, but you never know. You might end up having to do so. Leave Broken Railroad region. Far Range Branch Line. We are officially in... The far territory, guys. We made it. Okay, we're going to need that for sure. Yeah, I also remember him having to deal with a little bit of fog in here, which does make things a little creepy. Let me make sure there's... Okay, we can't go through there. Yeah, I think one of these cars we can get access inside of it and there's some stuff in there so I don't remember where it would be <coughs> he had to go quite a ways but yeah it's interesting how different our our adventures are taking I mean it's not just the fact that we make different choices on some things. I mean, we're still taking the same path, but he's running into things that I'm not. I'm running into things he's not. Just making for some seriously interesting 
interactions. I, it seems like he's been a little bit luckier with the wolves and the weather, where I have been having a lousy time of it. Or maybe it's just my imagination. Because I'm the one getting attacked. I don't know. I don't think he's gotten attacked yet. Not once. I mean, he's dealt with them. Okay, it looked like there was a box or something over there. For the most part, they've stayed cleared of him, which is really good, honestly. Okay, now we're getting into some ugliness here. I think... I think this is where we take a side passage because that's a collapse. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, we'll take the lantern fuel. Let me take a look up here real quick to make sure there's nothing. No. Nope. Just a collapse. Yeah, it would be really, really bad to run into an animal in here. <laughs> a bear, a wolf. There are a lot of exposed cords here, so if we ever have an aurora, this would be a really spooky place. There's a torch. Oh yeah, there was a little thing in here too. I forgot. Eh, we'll take the soda. We might get a little overweight. I'm not worried about it so far. Don't need the wood batches. And we'll take the chips. I think I'll take the socks. I think there is actually only one pair of socks on me right at the moment. Maybe not. Nope, I've got two pairs of wool socks. Hmm. Can't wear more than one, so we're going to drop these. Yeah, we got to keep our weight down. More lantern fuel. Well, we can always use lantern fuel. Let's see. Okay, that's empty. Uh, I don't see anything over here. I kind of look like there's something back behind there, but I'm not sure. Oh, gosh, all these filing cabinets. More chips. I've got enough chips. Boy, somebody's really into eating chips. <laughs> it's like they're every damn where. All right, let's see. Let's keep going. Oh uh, yeah, there's two ways in, two ways out. What is over here? That is locked. We don't have a pry bar. So I have no idea what's over there, and I haven't been, like, again, I have not been able to find a pry bar any stinking where. So we can't go that way. We really have no other choice but to go this way. No pry bar. Yeah, I think the only way to get down is to go down that... Either there was a rope there or we have to put a rope there. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. We're headed out to the dam. Let's go ahead and extinguish this. And here we are. Nice and picturesque. There are ways to climb down. And there's a wolf. Of course there's a wolf. Why wouldn't there be a wolf? Alright. 
Let's see if we can't avoid this guy this time. I think we have some kind of an opening somewhere. Let's go this way and stay away from him as much as we possibly can. He hasn't seen us yet. Let's keep it that way. Yep, there's the cave. Okay. So that's the way out. Beautiful. Before we leave, I'd like to just get a picture of that, actually. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, most of the time when you're out and doing this kind of stuff, you can't really take in just how pretty the scenery is. You're too busy trying to survive. Let me take one more picture. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty. That would make for a nice thumbnail. Yeah, I don't think there's anything over here, but except for bunnies. Not taking out the bunnies, though. Go on, bunny. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> He's just standing there. Crazy bunny. Alright, let's see here. Cave. Okay. Alright, plate layer shortcut. Far range branch line. Yeah, I'm going to try to... Eh, let's turn on the lamp. We got plenty of lantern fuel. Kind of like to see what we're doing, honestly. Okay, here we got a collapse and a backpack with some accelerant. Nice. Oh, here we go. Got some old campfire here. Some candy bars, recycled can, can opener. I'll take that. That's about all that's here. There's some coal. That guy could come on very useful. Am I going the right way? I think I am. Hope I'm not going back where I came from. Let's see. No, I think this is all new. Got this little chamber over here. Here's a big chamber. What is this? Oh, another dead body. Frozen corpse. I'll take the flare. Yeah, I think. Yep, we got another collapse and we got another flare. Marine flare. Well, so far, I haven't had a lot of luck with these flares scaring off the wolves. I've pulled them, and the damn wolves come after me anyway. Got some. Lots of coal. That's really too heavy to mess with. Alright, and I believe I need to turn left here. Basically keep going up. And that should get me out. Yep, there's the... I remember Dula dealing with that. 
Okay, this gets a little precarious here. Yeah, we should be getting close to the end of this. Yeah, my understanding is that there was an earthquake here. I don't know if it happened as part of this apocalyptic geomagnetic event or what's this over here? Nothing. Or if it was something that happened much earlier. But a lot of the things around here have just been gone. There are a lot of flares. Wait a minute, let me check my inventory. How overweight am I? I'm not very overweight, so let me go ahead and eat a stale chocolate bar. That got me underweight. Alright, let's go ahead and... Ex well, I was going to extinguish it, but apparently didn't have to. Okay, far range branch line. Let me go ahead and mark this. So it looks like we got some rose hips in front of us somewhere. Yeah, there they are. Well, I'm not picking them up right now. Ah, there's the railroad. So I think the collapse is to my left, yes. So had things been normal, we could have come that way. But I am actually going to go ahead and continue marking this really well. I've got plenty of charcoal to do it. that way I can find my way back if I need to. Alright, looks like we're good. Haven't heard any wolves. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> I hear one way off in the distance. Alright, I think... Why am I, oh, it's control, that's right. Yeah, I can crouch and get through here. Yeah, I believe Dula did go up on that, took a look around, but you can't really go anywhere. Okay, here we go. Got another bridge. Let's go ahead and mark things. Yeah, I don't want to get taken by surprise by any kind of storm. So that was the opening of the K. That's the rose hips. It's right here. So we just follow it. I mean, it's pr you know you pretty much have to. Looks like there is a way to get through here. Maybe this is an all new ex unexplored area. Not going to mess with it right now though. But maybe in the future, since I'm mapping it, we can go head over there and see what's on that side of things. Ooh, wow. Now that's picturesque. That's also certain death. It looks like we got us a rail car over here. Let's 
some bunnies. The only thing is, bunnies sometimes mean wolves. There's some of that heart old man's beard lichen. Yeah, I think there's a cave up here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there it is. We're going to go check it out, actually. I want to go ahead and get all these landmarks marked down. Oh, it's actually called Rabbit Grove. Old man's beard lichen. So it's marking the points of interest. Yeah. I don't know if I can map inside this cave or not, but we'll... Let's just see what's in here. Oh, another flare. I don't need another flare. We got wood. So we can make a campfire in here if we needed to. As many storms as I've got myself caught in or fogs, I really need to have multiple stopping points if I have to hole up somewhere. Is there anything over here? No. Nothing over there. No, it's just a just a kind of a boring cave. Something to get out of the storm, if there is one. Aptly name. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before I do anything, let's see if I can map this. Yes, I can. Cool. And now we have the cave marked. Perfect. That way we can find it if we need to. Hopefully we'll never need to. Plus it's a great source of food if we ever need it too. All kinds of bunnies. Hoss and pfeffer. Yeah, I don't think any of these... Well, actually I'm wrong. These are open. There's another flare. Newsprint. Let's see what's in here. Nothing. It looks like that was the only one. The rest of them are closed up. Alright. Metal container. Alright. We've got some reishi mushrooms up ahead. Okay. Okay, so far so good, guys. We've still got nice weather. Sun's out. I wish this could have happened early in my my first part of my venture here. There's the reishi mushrooms. I don't know what those make. They make some kind of a tea, but I don't know what it's for. Maybe it's for, like, dysentery? Is it an attack bunny? No. <laughs> okay, what is this? Another bridge. And another car. Yeah, I don't think this is anything but like a... a sealed coal car or something. Yep. Yeah. Freight Hoppers Rockfall. Let me go ahead and mark that too. As long as it's sunny, let's mark as much as we can. And it really doesn't show you anything under here though. And we're going into another tunnel. Well, I don't think I. Well, I might need. I might need my lantern here. It's getting darker. And darker, yeah, we need our lantern. Oh, you really can't see in here. Dang. Can't see in front of your face. Yeah, a flashlight would be so much better. But no electricity due to the geothermal. I keep wanting to say geothermal. 
geomagnetic storm. Geomagnetic storms are bad news. There is some theories about that. That it could really zap anything electricity wise. Alright, let's take that off. Yeah, this is not the end of the tunnel. It's just a break in the roof. Well, that's a nasty looking spike. I wonder if you could hurt yourself on that. Might need our lantern again. In some ways you can almost see better without the lantern. It's like it produces this haze that makes it very difficult to see some things. Okay, there's a flat car. Alright, can I get through there? Okay, there we go. Ooh, that was tight. <laughs> can't jump. There could be something on that. I can't even get to it. Damn it. Let's see here. Alright, we got nothing, nothing. On these underground things, sometimes there's like tunnels and little offices off to the side as we saw earlier. Lee Far Range Branch Line. Alright, transfer pass region.